Oh man, look at all these parts. And all these parts. So if you ever had to make a cut list, you know it can be quite time consuming. There's a lot of math involved, especially if you have rails and styles with cope and stick. It's kind of never endless. And there's programs out there that you can buy that are really good, but they're pretty expensive. So when I don't use my CNC program to cut my parts, I cut them out on my table saw. And when you cut that many parts and you really need a good detailed list. So what I did is I created my own software program. It's all in Excel. Now there are different ways to build cabinets. Everybody does it different. This program that I have will give you three different ways to build a cabinet. First one's a quarter inch back with a three quarter inch nailer. And then the other ones would be a half inch or three quarter inch piece that sets inside, runs all the way down. Here, so let me show you the software that I'm talking about. Since this program is basically a, a bunch of recorded macros, you have to make sure that the calculator and the spreadsheet is macro enabled. So you go to file, down to your options, down to Trust Center, then to the Trust Center settings, and then you go to Macro Settings and make sure that you have your macros enabled. This may not even be a problem for you, and you don't have to worry about it. Now back here on the main page, first thing we have to do is set the job defaults. Now this is gonna give it a job name whatever you choose, and it'll set all the defaults for all your materials, whether it's the thicknesses or the lengths. Remember, there's a difference between 23, 30 seconds and three quarters. And if you select quarter inch, you're gonna get a three quarter inch nailer. But if you select anything else, it's gonna be no nailer whatsoever. That's because the piece goes from the inside of the ends. And you'll use the back as the nailer itself. Once you've determined all your material, then you can set default widths, heights, and depths for your bases, for your uppers. And all this can be changed later, but this is your default sizes for your wall cabinets or pantry cabinets. You can go ahead and set for dados, none, half, or three eighths like I do, like this right here. That's a blind dado. And then I set my toe height for four inches. Before I accept the settings, I check the door reveals, eighth inch on each side. The middle reveal is actually the reveal space between doors and drawers. And then we accept. Okay, defaults are set. Now we select which cabinet we want. There is a should be a corresponding picture for each cabinet type. Change here to a two door, get a two door picture. Now we add cabinet and there it is. And we can choose the quantity. The cabinet number is self-populated. Here are the default values we already put in and you can change them here if you want. That's the decimal for 23, 30 seconds. Decimal for a quarter inch pack. Drawer heights are set at six inches and here's the other defaults. We add the cabinet and it adds it on the spreadsheet below. Here you can see we can change to a different type cabinet, put in those dimensions or leave what we have and add it again. And it adds it to the spreadsheet below gives it the appropriate cab number, the number of parts. And let's do an upper double. Well, let's change this to 15, just for the heck of it. And the height to 38. Add that cabinet and you have all the dimensions. Now that we've got somewhat of a list. We can print the cabinet list, push that button, and you'll get the list for this area right here. 
and print the doors and you'll get a list for the area from right here. Those are actual dimensions, they're not part sizes. We go ahead and clear the job and we can start all over again. This time we'll do some tall cabinets. So you can see that each time it changes the cabinet number automatically. So you don't have to do that yourself. Just keep adding cabinets and close it out when you're all done. Now, if you want to save this job, you just go ahead and close it, tell it save. And when you open it again, it'll have the same dimensions and the same list that was there. If you want to get rid of it, just go ahead and push the clear job and save it. If you'd like to help, the first 10 people will only pay a dollar for the program. If you pay a dollar for the program, I need your input how to make it better. Otherwise, I'm not sure what I'm going to charge for it. It won't be overly expensive. I want as many people to get it as possible. So hopefully we can make the program better together. So if you're interested, go to my Etsy page and you'll find it there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.